Finally tonight, what does that mouth do? <laughs> dinner's ready mean in your house. <laughs> oh, okay. That's a very different sentence. Hat tip to charity on my feed who posted this. You have uh, four options. Here we go. A, it'll be done in 15 minutes. So finish up what you're doing, then come to the table. Mm -hmm. B, dinner's almost done. Come help set the table real quick, then we'll eat. Mm -hmm. C, food is plated and will get cold if you delay. So come to the table immediately. Or E, this is your last warning. Come immediately or suffer the wrath of your mother. <laughs> what does dinner's ready mean in your house? Now, as a kid, mine was definitely a B okay. type of situation. So dinner's almost done. Yeah. Come help Comes set the, the table. table. Uh, now, the funny thing is, I was the only one who ever set the goddamn table. Ah. <laughs> you know? But yeah, basically. You a bunch of bums, did you? <laughs> I guess so. Yeah. Basically, my mom would be like, Hey, dinner's ready. Carly, come set the table. And I'd have like, I'd go set the table, I guess. Or actually usually it'd was be like. Was that a gender roles assignment kind of thing? Uh, I mean, to be fair, Tyson mowed the lawn. So. Okay. Yeah, right. Well. Five minutes a week or five minutes a day each week. Even fine. in a genderless <laughs> roommate situation, there is such a thing as division of duties. Right. You right. take out the trash. I vacuum. You know, that kind of right. thing. Well, and you've heard of like spoon theory, right? Huh. Okay, so basically uh, someone was using like uh, spoons to represent energy and they were like, you know, some tasks just take more energy, more spoons than others. Uh, now for me, the thing that takes most of my spoons is litter boxes because whenever I do them, uh, I always feel like I have to shower afterward. Right. I could scoop litter boxes all day. Right. Yeah. Everyone else I know can. Like they'll go in, they'll scoop them, they'll go about their day. No biggie. Me? Absolutely not. It's a dirty no. job. You're micro. You're in mm -hmm. the sewers. Right. And well, you and gotta also like I like I get in there and I scoop every little particle. Sure. You know, like I make sure that nothing in there is I, I make sure that every single thing in there is just litter. Carly, we're all thorough. Okay, well, no. Okay, you're not special. <laughs> you, she is special. I'm particularly <laughs> thorough. On top of that, I'll lift the big old totes up over my washing machine, mm -hmm. okay, and sweep and stuff. Not everyone does that. Some people just tilt it and just leave the shit on the floor. All right. Right. Absolutely not. No. No. Kay? Yeah. There's. Yeah. There's. There's hand vac. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. There's. Yeah. Afterwards. Yeah. Like I will sweep under the boxes. I'll sweep the entire room that they're in. Yes. I'll, yeah. I do a lot. Okay. The litter box and surrounding areas are clean yes. when you're done. Yes. For sure. And for some people, doing the litter boxes means just scooping what you can see very quickly and being done. Okay. I don't know <laughs> how we went from dinner table to litter box, but... We're talking spoons here. <laughs> we're talking... Yeah, okay. Division yeah. of duties, yeah. spoons. Okay. So anyway, point is, that's something that takes a lot of my spoons for other... Like, when I was married and stuff, he dealt with litter boxes. I would do dishes. Because I could do dishes all day. I hated them, but they didn't take nearly as much energy as litter boxes right. did. Right. No, I get it. You yeah. Know? And that's kind of what you got to do when mm. you're dividing duties is, right. what do you not mind? Right. I hate this. Mm -hmm. What do you not hate? Right. Yeah. Yeah. So I would always set the table when I was a kid, all is right. the point. I would do that and I would grade cheese. When I hear <laughs> dinner's ready, I definitely think that there's still some work involved. Right. There's still a little more to be done. So I, I guess I would have to say B or C, food is plated and will get cold if you delay, so come to the table immediately. So- Like, I, I definitely expect to show up and mm -hmm. then have some instruction, <laughs> like, uh, hey, can you take these three things to the table? Mm -hmm. Or- Now, I think you can attest- Can you grab the silverware? Right. I think you can attest to this for me. Um, when I personally say dinner's ready, like now as an adult in my own home, it's that the food is cooked, it is ready to go, and I'm just about to plate it and hand it to you. Yeah. You like if I say, hey guys, dinner's ready, I'm like literally about to start scooping it onto plates and handing it to bitches. You ring the bell as if the chuck wagon chef mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. during pioneer days. Yeah. And saying, come and get it. Yeah. Yeah. Basically. Uh huh. So it's not already plated, like answer C. It's definitely like right between B and C. Table's okay. already set and stuff, but the food is still on the stove being kept warm. I'm just letting y'all know 
to come get it because it's about to be on a plate where it's going to get cold. Yeah. And and I don't mind, you know, showing up to the stove. And, and by the way, I've been on both ends of this. Right. I have some friends who have been married for 30 years and they show up like a cattle call <clears throat> and are just like, feed me. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. As if they're Audrey too, <laughs> and they're talking to Seymour. So my uh, current living situation is open concept, which is nice, like my current house. Yeah, a lot of them are. Right, right. Personally, I hate open concept. I, I, love I it. like a little division. I don't like people to be I, able to see my dishes from my front door. It pisses me off. So do your <laughs> dishes. There's the easy solution. Absolutely not. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> here's the point. But I get it, yeah. But yeah, if I'm having a dinner party, I'll have people show up while the food is still being made. Uh-huh. Like, I'm not expecting them to get there, like, yeah. within 10 minutes. I'm talking, like, yeah. the hour it's getting made, y'all f- are sitting in my living area. Relax, hanging, have a drink. Talking with me while I'm cooking. Uh-huh, yeah. You know? And nine times out of ten, you're in the kitchen with me being my little sous chef, cutting my shit up. <laughs> I love to chop stuff. And thank God, because honestly, I'm so... Speaking of spoons, that takes a, l- a lot of spoons for me because I take so long to chop it's, shit. It's effortless for me. Yeah. It is effortless for me. I don't me. get that. <laughs> I love to tackle an onion and dice the shit out of it. Yeah. Here's the thing. I, I like the result. Like, I, I get the catharsis, but man, it's just, it takes me so long. I'm a slow cutter. Isn't that funny? Yeah. Right. Right. It Everything just- else I can do speedy as well, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's it's really fun to align strengths with weaknesses right. and cooperate like that. Yeah. That's fun for me. Yeah. But basically, when I'm making dinner, people are already in the general vicinity waiting for food, probably smelling it getting cooked, too, and being, yeah. like, extra hungry, and which I kind of love, by the way. Exactly. I love showing yeah. up for a dinner party when they're just putting the finishing touches on things. <gasps> I love it. Oh yeah, I love I'm to not even chat talking with the touches. I'm I'm talking like we haven't even started cooking when you get here. <laughs> Y'all are waiting, <laughs> you know. You but got like, everything prepped and it's right. just about to hit the pan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I Which, like that too. I mean, all of my people know that that's the case. Yeah. You know, like I'll tell them like, hey, I'm gonna start around this time. We're gonna eat around this time. Just show up somewhere in there. <laughs> but yeah, I like that because then everyone can hang out a little while I cook. I get the entertainment of getting to hear everyone chit chat and everyone gets to smell it as it's cooking, which I think builds anticipation and makes it taste better in the Absolutely. end. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. And then that way, when I say dinner's ready, I mean like food is cooked. We're going to plate it. We're all going to eat. I'm getting hungry. I know, right? Well, like, that's we our show. We dinner and I still want some more. <laughs> we might have to go get some snackies after this. <laughs> 